Jenny Tejani. I'm 19 years old. I am currently studying in college and I also love baking. That's why I'm here. So, uh, I've been baking since the age of 10, technically on my 10th birthday. My mom and I made my own 10th te uh, birthday cake. We made a little doll cake and that's when I discovered my love for baking and I never looked back since then. I've always been baking and it's been so many years now and it's one of my most favorite things to do and one of the main reasons I also started was because when I would go for tuitions and stuff on the streets I would see kids studying especially on the footpath near my house and I would question my mom I was a kid I didn't really know so I asked my mom like why are they like you know studying over here and not in school properly so then she explained to me that they're underprivileged they don't have the best facilities and stuff so this is how they do it and then I questioned I was like how can I help them? I want to help them, but you know, I'm small and how, how can I do that? Then uh, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. And when I figured out that I'm good at baking and people are actually liking my stuff, I thought, why not sell this? And then the proceeds that I earn from this, I can help them with it and with whatever resources they need. Yeah. Seeing their happy, happy faces make me so happy, happy because it, it just gives me lots of joy to help them out. And I had support from my entire family. I had support from my tuition teachers also. They all helped me out and they all, yeah, they all supported me to actually grow and make such a business out of it. I remember I used to make so many batches of cookies or cupcakes and they were rock hard. You throw it at someone, they'll probably break their head. It was that bad. It was that hard. But now when I bake them, they're like pillow soft and they just melt in your mouth. So practice patience. So when I participated in exhibitions, I was like 13 years old and people didn't believe in me because I was a kid, which is common and I understand it. But once they saw the stuff that I was selling, they were actually pretty surprised. So I had different themed cupcakes. One looked like a sundae, one looked like a dog with like little goofy eyes and stuff. So when once they saw that, that's when they were like, oh, okay, but then still taste. They tasted, I had so many people taking stuff with them, going around the exhibition and then coming back to my stall and be like, that was so good and you're just a kid, you're only 13 and I still get it, I'm 19 now and they're like, you're 19? It's so good and before when they wouldn't believe in me, that was a bit of a challenge but once they tasted everything, then they know. My family plays a major role in my baking part, like uh, my dad does the accounting part of it and earlier before like instant deliveries, my dad and I, we used to go, he used to drive around and then we would go and deliver it personally and my mom gets the ingredients, she cleans up because I don't like doing that and my sister handles my entire social media and uh, in fact sometimes when I'm in class the posts, are, the posts keep going up and then my friends are looking at me like who's posting you're here paying attention because we can't use our phone right during class so my sister does that for me uh, future plans as of now I'm going slow and steady step by step only uh, so I'm I want to venture out into a bigger business and I've started off that by uh, supplying my cookies, my chocolate chip cookies, which is my best seller at uh, this store called Neelam Foodland, which is in Khar. So I go there every week and then I give them a new batch of cookies, a new lot and stuff. So I'm going slow and steady with it and I'll see where it takes me. And I want to help and reach a lot more people and spread the sweetness.